If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description for FIFA Coin Zone. They're selling for £3 per 100k on the Xbox at the moment and £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code Josh5 to get 5% off. What's up, Legend Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of January Done Deals. Now, I said I wasn't going to make another episode until about next week, but I actually missed a lot of players that you guys were suggesting in the comments, so I thought I would, I would make a new video and, of course, get that covered, and uh, then I can, you know, wait for the new transfers to happen and then wait for another video of January Done Deals. But this is basically going to be six more players that will need to be covered in this series uh, so let's get straight into it but Valdez and Heskey um, could they make a FIFA return we will have to wait and see hopefully EA uh, you know obviously realize that they're in clubs that are in FIFA now and uh, should definitely get cards and hopefully at the end of January they will put them in the game so hopefully uh, that will happen but let's get straight into this episode with Valdez Heskey and four more players Moving on to the first January done deal of this episode, guys, we're going to be talking about El Hero Elia. Now, this deal was actually done like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, and of course, it was set for January, so it is actually a January done deal in terms of that, um, because he will start to play games in January, so I'm assuming that is going to count as a January done deal. But Elia, uh, Verde Bremen, it's only, gonna, it's only a season-long loan uh, until the end of the season, of course, and then obviously Southampton may have the opportunity to buy him, dependent on, you know, if he has a good time there, and if he, you know, actually has some... Uh, form and some good impact uh, as a player at, at Southampton. He's very, very versatile. He can play right and left and of course he's very, very tricky, very, very flary and maybe that is what Southampton need at the moment. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's a season long loan and I can't really see anything wrong with it um, and I think it'll be a good move for Southampton. Moving on to the second and biggest January done deal so far, we're going to be talking about Enzo Perez recently leaving Benfica for Valencia for a fee of £22 million. That is a very, very uh, large staggering amount and that is the, the biggest uh, in January at the moment to be forked out on a player. And uh, I'm not really sure, I, I don't watch a lot of uh, like um, Liga Portuguesa, which is obviously going to be Benfica, so I'm not really sure how this guy plays, but um, looking at his card stats, he looks like an, a phenomenal centre mid, so if EA know what they're talking about, and because I'm not going to judge him because I haven't seen him play that much, uh, I'm just going to say this, is, this looks like a good transfer because he just looks like a really incredibly good player on FIFA, and I'm pretty sure EA don't tend to bullshit too many players, so... Maybe that's something bad to go off of, but let me know your opinions on Enzo Perez. Maybe I should have seen him a little bit more before, you know, actually covering him, but like I said, it is a January done deal and it is actually the biggest so far with a whopping 22 million transfer fee. Moving on to the next January done deal, guys, we're going to be talking about Canny, and of course he has recently just left Villarreal to join Atletico Madrid on a season-long loan till the end of the season of 2014-2015, and uh, apparently uh, Diego Simi Simeone has brought, basically just brought him in for a little bit of experience, you know, they're lacking a sort of leader, sort of that huge bit of experience because Canny has been in this league for so long, uh, playing for Villarreal and other clubs, um, and of course he feels like he just needs him to bolster up the squad and try and go for that, uh, pr uh, you know, try and go for that La Liga um, defense again for the, you know, for obviously because they won it last year. I think they're trying to have a, you know, power surge in January and they're trying to go for it again. But I personally think Real Madrid and Barcelona are just a little bit too stronger for them this year after losing, uh, you know, a lot of their main players. Um, but I do think uh, that they can do at least third, fourth, but I don't think second or first, in my opinion, is doable. And moving on to a very, very controversial one, and a lot of people will want this to pass, and it, of course, is going to be Emil Heskey. Well, he was uh, in FIFA last year, playing for Newcastle Jets in the Australian League. Um, he got, uh, well, he basically was just released from his contract at Newcastle Jets, wasn't doing too much, apparently, or maybe was just being paid too much for what he was doing. And uh, he was a free agent for a little bit, and now he is actually playing for Bolton, has actually scored a goal, and won me a bet. So I am absolutely all for Emil Heskey getting a FIFA card and I think it would look something like this 65 rated striker with 29 pace and 82 physical and it would probably go for at least like 200-300k because everybody just loves a bit of Heskey um, and he's all about the bants and the jokes and etc um, but I think uh, this should pass and maybe it will but I'm not too sure but I hope it does I really hope Heskey passes because I'd love to use him on FIFA again it has been a while um, but yeah Emil Heskey to Bolton is now a thing. 
And moving on to a January done deal, which I'm actually really happy to talk about, and it is going to be the first Manchester United signing of January, and hopefully it's not the last, because we definitely need improvement at the back, and maybe Kevin Struman slash a good, strong midfielder that can command and lead uh, us to victory into a few more away games, because our away form is absolutely shocking. But um, Victor Valdez, I actually wouldn't think this would ever happen, but apparently, you know, obviously Barcelona, um, I think... Was he released from his contract? Oh, you know, obviously he just left um, on his own terms. And then he started training with Manchester United. And of course, now in January, um, I think it was confirmed yesterday. Uh, so he's actually now a Manchester United player. And I think he's going to be the second goalkeeper because Lindegaard looks like he may be going back to Denmark or may just be uh, moving to some other team. But he just doesn't seem to be getting much action at the moment. And of course, if De Gea does uh, eventually leave, Valdez wouldn't be too bad of a goalkeeper to sort of uh, find a replacement for. So, um, yeah, Victor Valdez, Manchester United player. I'm very, very happy with this. Moving on to the final January done deal, guys. We're going to be talking about Philip Walshied. I think that's how you say it. And uh, he has recently transferred over from FC Mainz to Stoke City in the Barclays Premier League, of course. And uh, this is just a season-long loan once again. We've got a lot of loans already happening in January uh, because the people obviously don't want to, you know, they want to try out the player first. And, of course, that's what we've done with Falcao. And hopefully we will actually buy him in January because uh, I think other teams will be able to willing to snap him up like Inter Milan or Juventus or, you know, other big giant teams uh, other than Manchester United um, but yeah Philip Walshield uh, he's there on loan and I can't really say much about this guy because I've never seen him play um, but Stoke feel like he could be like the next Robert Hoof or something I have no idea um, but yeah this has happened and he will now spend uh, the, the remaining of this season out at Stoke Thank you guys for watching another episode of January Done Deals. Thanks for all the support on this series. It really has been uh, started fantastically. If we could hit 200 likes again, I'll do another uh, episode next week covering all of the January transfers between the 8th and probably the 15th because now I think I've covered most of the transfers that should be covered uh, in a, you know, obviously in a January Done Deal series. So uh, I'm going to give it a break now for about a week and then obviously I'll come back and recaps on the transfers that have happened over this week. So comment down below any transfers you think I've missed or any transfer rumors that I could cover in a January transfer rumors of course episode tomorrow um, but yeah thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of January done deals thank you guys for all the support recently it's been absolutely terrific follow me on Twitter at 94 subscribe if you're new around here and apart from that guys I'll see you guys tomorrow peace